Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. Today I'm going to show you what I believe is a game changer in the drone community. You can now plan your flight path to automatically aim your camera based on the perspective you see on Google Earth. Alright, so first I'm going to show you quickly what I mean and then I'll show you exactly how you can do this. So here's Google Earth and you can see how I can change the view. Well, I can actually mark this as a viewpoint and many others, then go to the flying site and automatically fly my drone to take photos or videos of these same viewpoints. So you'll first need to have Google Earth installed on your computer and you'll also need the Litchi app that works with most DJI drones. In Google Earth, for the layers, you'll want to select 3D buildings and also terrain. And if you haven't used Google Earth before, here's where the shortcuts are to be able to move the view around. Alright, so for your first waypoint, you'll want to look straight down using the control key and the left mouse button. Get it centered here. And when you take the control key and the mouse key up, and it doesn't move, then you know that you're looking straight down. Now I'm taking the control key and then mousing up to keep my altitude the same, creating a folder to save all of my waypoints, and then adding a place mark to actually save this view. I'm titling it as viewpoint one. Okay, so now I'm going to the next point here, this field, get it centered like so, and then adding another place mark, labeling it viewpoint number two. Now while I'm moving around, I'm actually using the control key or the alt key to maintain the same altitude that I first started from with waypoint one as the reference point. Okay, third viewpoint. And with this baseball field, I'm actually going to change the altitude just simply by using my mouse wheel. I'm able to zoom in and then saving that viewpoint labeled as viewpoint four. Okay, and then I'm going to zip across here over to this building here. And when you try and zoom in too low, it goes into the street view. So you want to exit out of it like so. And try and avoid going into the street view mode. Okay, saving this waypoint, titled as viewpoint five. Hello there. The last waypoint you always want it to end somewhere where you started from. So I'm going to label this as viewpoint six. All right, and then finally, what you'll do is save all those viewpoints labeled as demo onto your computer. Make sure it's a KML file type. Now it's saved onto my computer. So now I'm going to a site that allows you to convert that Google Earth file into Litchi Hub. Go ahead and select that file and it converts it for you. and then you'll download that file again to your computer. Now here's the Litchi Hub. You're going to go ahead and import that file that you just converted. And there you go. Here's the exact waypoint mission based on what you had set in Google Earth. So now we're going to go ahead and save it and name it. Going to use demo again. And this is the file name that you'll see when you load up your mission in the Litchi app. So now I'm at the flying field and I've got the Litchi app opened up here on my device. 
and I'll go ahead and load that mission demo make sure the settings are correct obviously I want return to home speed I'm going to adjust that a little bit slower and we are good to go alright so I'm going to go ahead and start recording press the start mission button and we're off so here's the actual drone video and so it's flying up to get into position for the first waypoint and I'm not going to go through all the waypoints that I had set but I'm going to go through the first three and then I think you'll get a good enough idea exactly how this is going to work alright so there's the first waypoint that I set in Google Earth and you can see the comparison here alright continuing on and we'll go ahead and speed this up a little bit in between waypoints and so here we're coming up on another waypoint there's the Google Earth perspective continuing on gonna go ahead and speed this up again and here we're coming up to another waypoint there's our original Google Earth perspective and then here's the baseball field that I'll center on and there's the Google Earth perspective again so now I'm going to show you how you can determine the altitudes that you're setting for the waypoints within Google Earth the first waypoint is very important because all subsequent waypoint altitudes are referenced from the first waypoint using Litchi. You'll want to reference the elevation and the eye altitude shown in Google Earth. You'll take the eye altitude, subtract the elevation, comes out to 215. So this will be the waypoint altitude for the first waypoint. I'm using the control key and the mouse key to maintain that altitude and then naming the waypoint. In this case, viewpoint one. 215 is the actual altitude for that waypoint and 1035 is the eye altitude which I'll use as a reference so now I'm moving across horizontally without changing the altitude just by using the left mouse key now for this baseball field I'm actually going to change the altitude and so you'll simply use your wheel mouse to move up or down so I'm actually zooming in here and you can see the eye altitude is changing and so to figure out what that altitude would be if I were to create a waypoint here I'll take that number 966 feet and subtract from the eye altitude for the first waypoint 1035 and I get negative 69 so what I'll do is I'll add 215 which was the actual waypoint altitude for the first waypoint and I get 146 so that is the actual altitude for this waypoint alright so I'm naming it viewpoint 2 dash 146 for the altitude and then saving it and on the screen here's a few quick tips to help make the mission planning a lot better go ahead and freeze the frame if you like alright guys so that is it what a great way to be able to plan your missions and know that you're gonna get the shots that you need before you get to the site and a quick shout out to Lawrence and Albert of Phantom Film School who came up with the conversion tool to connect between Google Earth and the Litchi Hub Thanks for watching. If you like this video, appreciate you hitting that like button. And we've got a lot more videos coming up, of course, so go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you like. Happy flying. Bye.